office. Got lots of uh, stuff there, hun. This is his nostalgic place. Yeah, you Jolly you Donuts. We had to drive all the way here. Oh yeah, it's so far out the way. I mean, it's not close. But I'm getting some Timbits out of it. Yeah, despite you being like, it's not even that good. Well, yeah, last your words time, exactly. Last it's time, we I, came it, too late. it was like so stale. I was like, Ugh, I can't believe we paid for this. But look at those. Ooh, also, hey. when I walked in here, was like, I was like, oh, nice car, and I was like, oh, like he was like, that's my, those are my favorite. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's pretty nice. And he was like, it's expensive. No, I mean, it's, it looks more expensive than it really is. <laughs> Good job, buddy. And all those donut holes were one dollar. Oh wow! There's how many? Like a dozen? Is it a baker's dozen? I don't know. Milk in your mouth. Jolly oh, donuts so is bad. the best. You're so ridiculous. Mmm. Also, guys, look at my lip. <laughs> I have a cold sore infestation. It like really hurts. And this one, the first one was in the middle, like on my lip. And the other ones, you're like off of my lip, on my skin. And it's so itchy over there. Itchy, wah wah. Now, we're on our way to Costco. Costco. Again, I'm gonna eat another one no of these. No crying at Costco this time for us. No crying. We have to get, we have to get gas. That's pretty much the reason why we're going and then we're gonna obviously go in. Yeah. Maybe they'll have Christmas decorations up now. Why? It's hardly October. Yeah, but Costco always puts up early. Yeah, but we're in America, so we still have to celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, Actually, so do you. Even in Canada, they still have to celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's next, next weekend. For us Canadians. Anyway, I'm well, tired from holding up my phone because the camera won't work, so. I'm gonna um, stop. Yeah, we need to get a new bag. What did this girl say about Christmas decorations? No, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Well, guess what's in Costco? <gasps> Christmas trees and frosties and reindeer and all things Christmas. So, ha, I win. It's the most wonderful time of can we go? No, I'm going down this way. Go down this way. Grayson, go down this way. Please. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are cool. Oh, we have those. We have some of those trees. Christmasy boxes. Oh my gosh, it's a polar bear. And there's Rudolph and Oh, should we get some lights? No, we have so many lights already. We don't need a single light. We have so many lights. Oh, we need Halloween candy though. We don't need that. Oh, look! It's so beautiful. So beautiful. <sighs> Christmas stuff. Glitter gem garland. It's like in Frozen. Do you just get a pumpkin here or should we go to a, like a patch like last year? No. No, it was way too much go money. To a patch. We didn't even get it get actually. a pumpkin half the size for twice the price. Yeah, we, we looked around to go to the patch for the experience but didn't actually get anything. We didn't get an experience here. How about this one? It has a wart. It's very witch-like. That one? Can you get that one? Please? That one looks nice and round and perfect. Oh, uh, uh, uh. You look so unhappy. <laughs> it's happy. Okay, we can put it down. You want that one? No, what about. Okay, let's see. No. Yeah. How about, like, that one? Can you reach it? No, no stick. No, no peduncle. It's called the peduncle. I know what it's called. <laughs> Okay, let's see. 
Oh, this one's got a good peduncle. Grown in California. That's interesting. I thought pumpkins needed like cool weather. Oh, that one's weird looking. Hmm. He's digging. Down in deep in there. Oh, looks like a winner. They're just dirty. Are you okay? <laughs> That's funny. Are you okay, Hunch? I think that one's so pretty. That one's good. I like that one. It's dirty, like but one? we can clean it off. You like that one? Yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah. Made a hole in the pumpkin pile. Oh, yeah. That one's so perfect. Good find. Thumbs up. That's what you do. Do. <laughs> you could watch it by yourself, you could watch it with the crew, put your thumbs in the air and say that's what you do. He doesn't want to put his thumb in the air. What? This is the coolest present ever. Britt and Austin, you need to come to Costco and get Kai a truck. Or maybe I should get one for free. So. It works so well. So realistic? That's seriously so cool. It does everything. So you sit there, you can do the front thing or the back thing. Wow, and it's not even that expensive. Aw, this kid looks so happy to be riding this tractor. That could be Kai. That's really cool. Or Grayson. Also, I'm in heaven. <gasps> A whole two aisles of Christmas stuff. Poinsettias and wreaths, and paper and nutcrackers and deer and reindeer <sighs> and crackers. Look. Ooh, look at these! Oh, it's wrapping paper reversible. Whoa! Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, that's nice. We bought one last year though, remember? The burlap one? That's really cool. Look at all of the bows. And they have all the ribbons. I'm so happy. I think I want to get the leafy one. Happy Sunday morning <coughs> from the Knolls. We are on our way to a 10 a.m. showing of The Martian. I come and leave. <laughs> that's what Martians that's do. Edits yeah, they do this. No, that's what Star Trek does. I thought just aliens did that in general. No, they didn't come from anything alien. They just came from Star Trek. Okay, well, Star Trekians look like aliens to me, so. Anyway, we're going to see The Martian. This is our thing. We go to see movies at 10 o'clock in the morning because they're cheaper and nobody's there. So for both of us to go see a movie, it's like $13. So this is what we do and it's been really fun. We like doing that, right? And so we brought some snackies, like, I don't know, a bag of Halloween candy. Yeah, Maybe. also you have to put that in the and like hold it. Kind of yeah, I'm gonna have to hide our goodies. Because that's coming in with me. Yeah, and coffee, because it's morning time. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go do that. We didn't really do much yesterday, so there wasn't really much to vlog. No, you were just doing homework. So. Yeah, I was doing homework. I had a paper to write. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Good story. <laughs> I was gonna say, real talk, people. Every year, this girl has an emotional breakdown this time of year because it's fall and stuff and it's not fall in California. And so that was my, um, last night was my annual breakdown night. Cried a little bit. Actually, it was quite a lot. It's not included. 
a lot of it. Um, but this guy's the best. He just knows how to calm me down all the time. He just knows the perfect thing to say that's gonna make me be like, oh, yeah, you're right, Grayson. <laughs> no, that's not what. <laughs> and when I say annual, I mean it happens every year, but it doesn't only happen once every year. <laughs> just as a heads up, Grayson. <laughs> Sometimes it happens more than once. I went through once. Yeah, you went through last season, that's true, so he knows. Last season too was compacted by wedding preparations. You mean compounded? Compounded by, sorry, I don't know. But um, yeah, so last year, even though we did great, we weren't even really that stressed during wedding planning. The worst part for us was finding a venue. And once we found that, which we found right as we were taking off to go to Canada for Christmas, um, we were pretty good. Um, but yeah, so last night was my um, annual breakdown session, and so I didn't want to vlog that per se. So we have not much that we vlogged yesterday. Nope. Okay. Welcome to our Saturdays. Oh, whoops! It's Sunday. Saturday. It's Sunday. So we do video games and paper writing. This is a new Saturday, Sunday type. Of thing. Yeah, well, this is gonna be our Sundays for the next year or so. All right. So, not the most exciting vloggage material, <laughs> but it's what we're doing. And you guys asked to see our lives, so here you go cars and computers. We did do a little bit of fall decorating. I can kind of give you a little mini preview. It's not finished at all actually, but let's see. We've got just a few little Halloween things. We got some, our bowl. We put it up with the only the best candy ever in here. Like all the best kinds. Like I don't really like these that much, but Grayson loves those. Peanut M&Ms, are you kidding me? Kit Kat, what? Twix? No way. All the best things, so there's that and little pumpkin uh, candles everywhere and our little ghosty friend. And then over here, we put down some uh, fall cloths. I have to put this on the door, but we have to nail into the door. Honey, we should do that now. And then our little pumpy cans. And we put a little display in the bathroom. Let's see. Oh, beware. Like I said, nothing's done yet. I just threw it together because I wanted some fall stuff up, but I've been kind of busy. These are from Miss PJ. Grayson's mom bought us these little towels, and I think they're supposed to be for the kitchen, but it's too cute, so I put it in here too. But how cute are those hedgehogs? Ah! And then, of course, you need the fall toilet spray. A fall harvest. But yeah, that's all the fall stuff we have for now. Working on it, it'll get better. Oh, and I have Halloween lights too. I have to decide where those are gonna go. Um, got a little bit of stuff. What? I said we have a little bit of stuff. Oh yeah. Our house is a mess, by the way. But you look good. You can sit with your arm like that all the time if you want. That would be uncomfortable. My arm would start that bicep. Do it again. Yeah, I don't have a bicep. Yeah, you do. No. Did you drive your brains out? Are you tired? Nope. No? Nope. You drive my brains out? Yeah. What? You move so much, it's really hard to walk. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Hey, Han, what do we do this morning? Um, eat breakfast? We went to see the Martian. We did. We saw the Martian, and it was so good. It was pretty good. We re I really liked it. So I'm that guy now, I'm like that snob, like, uh, the book. Because uh, he read the book for like the first time ever. First time ever. Actually, I never saw him broken. That would have been the first time ever. So he read the book, it, which was amazing. The book was really good. I read the first half, but then school happened and I couldn't do any more. So he read the book and it was great. And then he watched the movie after. And of course, movies are never as good as books. So he was a little bit disappointed in the movie. I only read the first half of the book, which is not oh. the best part. And then I loved the movie. I thought it was so intense and so good. But of course they change things and they oh, exclude oh, things. I, I didn't like the movie. 
I still liked the movie. I know you liked it, but it wasn't as mind blowing as it was for me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they just, I don't know, I feel like they left some stuff out and changed some stuff to try and make it like more suspenseful, but also left out stuff that would have made it actually more suspenseful. Yeah. And it was just kind of weird. But, I mean, all in all, it was a great movie. Was, yeah. So, I mean, I'd say go see it. Yeah, I would too. And the theater jacked up our seats that we had reserved and they moved us, or like they had moved our seating position. Not like by a lot at all. So yeah, but to all the way good, to the side versus yeah, the middle. Yeah, that's true. I got like, I was literally the first person to buy tickets to this movie in yeah. this, for this particular showing. And somehow, I don't know what happened, but our seats got moved. They were still fine, but they gave us free, uh, free movie passes. Yeah, so we got free movie pass. And it doesn't even say it's for only a 10 o'clock AM showing, so we no, could probably can go anywhere. We can use those passes. You can even go to, um, it doesn't have to be that theater either. It can be an EMC. Yeah. Oh, Plus, nice. it can also be like the dine in experience. Oh, we really should use it for that. We have to, you have to like pay extra. Yeah, but, but it'd still be a lot less because already, you know, however much of a regular movie ticket is going to be covered in that. So. Yeah. So it was great. We saw a movie and got a free movie. And ate candy at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I brought my coffee in there. Yeah, Grayson brought his coffee and his yeah. to-go mug, and I brought <laughs> yeah, a little Ziploc bag of Halloween candy. And I had donut holes. And we brought donut holes. We're so fat. I'm about to eat a fudgy bar. And Grayson's going to go have a fudge bar. I already had one. <laughs> yeah, just trying to play catch up. Yeah. Then we're going to go play tennis. So. Yeah, then we're going to play tennis, so it's okay. Uh, well, that's it for now, people. Jeep. Passing challenge completed. Good job, hon. Underdog challenge. High five. Trucks. Too slow. Uh -huh. Hey, sexy man. What you doing? Suiting up. Oh, I be on my suit and tie. Not all the way. I'm not going to tie. Yeah, but. I'm mm. on my half of a suit to pretend like I know how to clean up. You do. Look at you. We have our green card interview today. I got my driver's license. Yeah. Oh, I thought I should have my wallet. We need like every single piece of documentation the government's ever given us. And our giant binder that we made that we showed you guys. They have that with them. Um, and yeah, so we're going. We'll keep you posted. We don't really know if we're going to even find out right away, but we should be fine, right? I think we'll be fine. Yeah. So it's just, uh, you know, it's still a thing. It's still a thing. It's still the government. Yeah. But yeah, think proposal with Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. A little less dramatic than that, I hope. Right. <laughs> Hopefully less dramatic. You're saying I'm Ryan Reynolds? Oh yeah, you're Ryan Reynolds. Nice. I'm Sandra Bullock. That's why I got my pointy shoes on. <laughs> you look good. You should wear this to work every day, hun. Could you imagine? People do that. Well, I know that. I'm just saying, could you imagine me wearing this to my work? I'd walk in there like this. People would laugh at like me. like wearing shorts and t-shirts. My normal apparel of jeans and or shorts and a, some sort of just colored t-shirt. <laughs> would not. I, well, would say, I love being able to just wear that. Well, you look. My bag is fitting for my... Oh, it is. And, oh, not to do shoes. Mm. <laughs> All right. We're off, peeps. Important business. How's it going? Done the interview, guys. Grayson didn't get asked one thing, <laughs> really. No, he did. He did. He asked me, they asked him, it's what made you fall in love with me? And guys, I legit almost started crying when he was saying it again. He says it. Why? Because it's so sweet. And I was like, my eyes were tearing up. And I was like, is it good if she sees me cry? Or is it lame if she sees me cry? <laughs> but she asked me like lots of questions, like same thing. Like, so <laughs> we're about to get into an elevator. I feel like it's probably kind of awkward to vlog in an elevator for people. So I stopped. But um, they asked me the same thing. like. What made you fall in love with your husband? They asked us where we met. Oh, they also asked Grayson how long he's been going to our church. It was actually kind of cool, hon, because we got to 
like bring up Jesus in our interview, which is pretty sweet. So, because like, they asked me what, why did I fall in love with him, and that was like a huge part of it was because he loves Jesus so much, and so I got to say that in the interview. And then he also said something similar. So, what a cool opportunity to say Jesus in an immigration interview, right? That's right. Huh. But we're done, and we got a form. I don't even know if you can see me in here. Probably not. Well, kind of, but there. <laughs> but we're done, and we got a little paper that, I mean, honestly, I was kind of nervous a little bit about it, because it says, like, um, we did it, and it's like, yeah, you got, like, it has to, it needs another review, and then blah, 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 blah. I don't they call anybody that they, that they, like, pass. Yeah, they probably don't tell people if you pass or not, right? But... Um, we texted our attorney guy who is my best friend's husband and she's Canadian he's American so they've been through it too and um, he said it's normal so looks like we're, we're okay she believed us I'm just kidding <laughs> I shouldn't even say that <laughs> they'll find like proof online and um, but yeah it wasn't too bad and we weren't too worried but it is still a little nerve-wracking like she asked me about all the addresses I've lived at which we wrote on the paper when you have time to think about it I feel like your answers were nerve nervous answers I was nervous I was nervous and I don't know the exact addresses I know the street names I know but I feel like you some of, sometimes a couple of your answers were like really suffering from a condition called hyperhidrosis just not as conversational answers well because I feel like, like but she was just like looking to try and get more information well I didn't know then she said it said and then it was funny that felt like you could tell that you were nervous yeah well I was and she's asking me all these questions and you were just sitting there and she wasn't like it wasn't like a pleasant experience I mean she was nice enough but still. I feel like if they want me to ramble on, I could ramble on, but then I feel like she would ask me a more open-ended question. I don't know. Whatever. We're done, and hopefully everything went well. Hey guys, so I just got to school. It's been like the longest day ever. The kids in my class are great, but they're like exhausting. And um, so I actually just took like an almost an hour nap at home. I literally just fell asleep like a rock. I slept like a rock. And then I get to school, and <laughs> this is how I parked. I was so confused. So this happened. So you can see, like, the line is, it's good, right? My car's fine. And then I walk to the other side, and I'm like, what the heck? So this is, like, the weirdest parking space I've ever seen. I don't really know, like, how to, I don't really know what to do. I, I mean, I think I'm just going to leave it, because... Unless my car is a triangle, there's no way anything's gonna fit in there. So, from one side of the car, great park job. The other side, it looks like I don't know how to drive. So we're gonna hope that no one sees that side and just go with it. And I'm about to go to school. I've got class till 8.45 tonight. So I packed my dinner and getting my thinking cap ready. Talk to you guys later. Hi everybody, it's me again. Grayson's at work and Fridays are my day off to do homework and stuff, but I had to edit the vlog this morning. Um, I know that was like a super random collection of days and stuff that we did, <laughs> but we're still trying to figure out um, the best way to organize everything in the vlogs and yeah, we did do random stuff so it kind of makes sense and we are random people so that also makes sense, but I hope you guys liked it. And we will see you next.